Hey everybody, Kelly Ritchie here. Welcome to The Cutting Edge and to what's new for the month of June. Now this month, we're gonna learn a new song that I wrote called What in the World. This song is gonna be the first steps that we take towards adding to our vocabulary and moving past just playing pentatonics. And starting in July, we're gonna start looking at modes, but from a very simple perspective. Uh, the modes can be very confusing to people. I've always called those extra two notes the wild cards. Just play your five note pentatonic. I've got a concept. Five plus two equals freedom. You can stick to your pentatonic scales, but if you want to add those two extra notes, this song lays the foundation for that. I've included the rhythm track. Also, there's a new mini series, and I'm going to put that in the song pack section. It will be the first song. And I will include the MP3 from the uh, recording that was on my Carry the Light CD. So all of that's there. And if you're beginner to intermediate, depending on where you are, make sure that you learn the chords first in their simplest form. Because you can play a version of this song really stripped down. Now I want you to notice how whenever I play, I don't sit still. I'm always feeling the groove. Now, I'm gonna be saying this a lot. If you don't feel it, nobody feels it. So focus points for the month. We're gonna be learning what in the world. Make sure that you get the chords down first before you try to play the riff or add any of the hammer-ons, pull-offs. Once you get the basic structure down, be sure to play along with the rhythm track. Make sure that each and every day you're doing some kind of a warm-up on your guitar. Whether you have time to practice or not, at least grab your guitar and run through one finger exercise so you stay connected. Break up your practice time into thirds. Take some time to warm up, then tackle the thing that's the hardest. After that, play and have fun. And on those days that you really have some extra time to put in, just repeat that cycle. Take a little break, come back and keep going. Because you want to continue to build connection with your guitar. You want to continue to tackle new material that you're learning. And you want to play and have fun. I am working to uh, really build out my YouTube channel. It's a really good place for my students to go because I'm going to be adding a steady stream of jam tracks where you see the chords, I play a few verses of rhythm and then a few verses of lead, then it's all yours. And while you're there, if you want to see how I'm applying these things, there's a ton of performance videos that I've added over the years. So you can see how it plays out in my style and the techniques that I have that I'm teaching you how to play. So have a great month. Be sure to practice to your weaknesses, play to your strengths, and remember, if you don't feel it, nobody feels it. And don't forget, the second Wednesday of every month, I do a live Zoom call. Please be sure to join us. You can ask questions in each month's call. I go over the focus points for the month and then take Q&A and answer any questions that you have. Each one of these calls is recorded and posted in the channel in the folder that says live Zoom calls. So if you miss it or you're on a weird time zone and can't make it, you can always re-watch it and feel free to hit me with a message if there's something you want me to cover. Okay, have a great month.